anger, resentment and hatred, extremism, lawlessness, violence, disease, joblessness and hopelessness. With unity, we can do great things, important things. In his inauguration speech today, the president had a laundry list of issues that he sees facing our nation. Our political reporter Jack Fink talked to local grassroots Democrats about the challenge to try and unify this well-known divided country. Jack? Well, Doug, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris take office as House Democrats have a 10-seat majority and the Senate is 50-50, with the new vice president being the tiebreaker if necessary. Today, we conducted a group Zoom interview with two former delegates to the Democratic National Convention, Haley Taylor Schlitz and Lou Blackburn, and Democratic Party activist Jody Bland. They said they do want the country to come together to solve the nation's problems, especially improving the federal government's response to the deadly pandemic and the economy. President Biden spent much of his inaugural speech on unity, and those we spoke with wait to see how Congress, especially the Senate, responds. Like it or not, Kirsten Sinema, Joe Manchin, Mitt Romney, moderate members of the United States Senate are going to carry a lot of power for the next two years. And if we want to pass progressive legislation, we need to find a way, as Lou says, to work with those people. But I do think that majority that we have or that 50-50 split with Vice President Kamala Harris being the tiebreaker will be uh, very exciting to watch because I think um, it'll be an improvement from what we've seen. Well, I'm hopeful that we don't get to the point or stay at the point where it's all about Republicans versus Democrats. I hope we can get to the point where our Democrats are reached across the aisle to work with the Republicans across the aisle so that we can work for the good of the country. Blackburn, Schlitz, and Bland all said they're excited about this historic day, not just because a new era begins in Washington, but because Kamala Harris is the nation's first black American, Asian American, and female vice president. Senator John Cornyn today criticized President Biden's decision to cancel the permit for the Keystone XL pipeline, saying the president is kicking the energy industry in Texas when it's down. Doug? Jack Fink, thank you so much.